you may own may be impacting your dating life. So according to a survey by All About Cookies, nearly a quarter of iPhone users admit that they look down on people who don't use Apple's iMessage app to send text. In fact, nearly a quarter of those surveyed say finding out someone that is an Android user would be a deal breaker for them. The survey also found most people with Androids are aware iPhone fans are judging them for it. Wow. No comment. All right, the auctioning off of Shohei Otani's historic 50th home run ball is going ahead despite litigation over who actually owns the baseball. Otani, of course, the first player in baseball history to hit 50 homers, steal 50 bases. He hit that milestone on September 19th with this homer in Miami against the Marlins. Multiple, multiple people claim they got the ball first, but all parties involved in legal claims say they want the auction for that ball to move forward. It's being handled by Golden Auctions. Its executive chairman stopped by the 6 o'clock news to talk about where things stand right now. We were able to completely settle the lawsuit and get get this baseball out of any litigation. All the parties, they signed a document that grants full and clear title to whoever our winning bidder is. Current bid, by the way, nearly $2 million bucks, and the date for the auction is October 22nd. A lot of interest in yeah, that ball. Yeah, absolutely. And there's more of the 10 o'clock news straight ahead. All right, we'll be right back. I want to bring you up to date on the latest on Hurricane Milton. Right now, it is a Category 5 storm churning through the Gulf of Mexico. The monster system is expected to make a direct hit on Florida's west central coastline late Wednesday and could produce life-threatening storm surge and destructive winds. All right, let's check in with Nick for the latest on where things stand right now, Nick. Yeah, 160 mile per hour Category 5 hurricane. Again, leaving now the Yucatan Peninsula and heading towards Florida. And as you pointed out, by later tomorrow, tomorrow night, it'll be making its landfall somewhere along the central Florida coast, west coast, and that was where the worst storm surge is expected to take place 15 feet or higher, and think of the damaging waves on top of that, that could really cause life-threatening conditions there. Heavy rain, tornadoes possible, high wind, just a bad outcome there for parts of Florida. Unreal. All right, thanks, Nick. Well, don't go anywhere. Good night, New York, with Crystal Young, and Ryan Christopher is next at 11. You don't want to miss it. That does it for us tonight. If you've missed any part of the 10 o'clock news, you can always catch an encore on our free streaming app, Fox Local. Just search Fox Local on your preferred streaming platform. Have a great night.